Hello, my name is David. This is my life on play. Welcome, glad to have you here. I am a CPA. I have eight plus years of experience. I've worked at a big firm, small firm, mid-tier firm. And today we're gonna to talk about performance reviews and demystifying the process. We're gonna talk about how they work, how you should rate yourself, and how they rate you. So if you uh, have enjoyed these videos, or you like hearing more, Feel free to subscribe in the bottom right hand corner. You can hit subscribe now. And if you're enjoying the video, please give me a thumbs up and I would love to hear any comments that you guys may have. So let's dive right in. So first off, what are performance reviews and how do they work? Basically in the firm, after every busy season, accountants need to quantify how good you have done in the firm. And so this comes out with performance reviews. Normally these work with, you have to give yourself a rating from one to five, and then you have to write some sort of narrative about yourself to justify that rating that you Normally it'll be five or six categories that you need to write, and it'll be what your technical ability was, maybe what your soft skills were, how you treated clients, and a few other categories that vary between firms but mostly that's the generic idea of how you are rating yourself. You have to come up with a number, and that leads us into how you should rate yourself. Hold that thought, I need to get some boba. All right, and we're back. Got my tea. I love boba. Anyways, so how do you rate yourself? This can sometimes be the most difficult part because you're like, I feel so awkward about talking about myself and everybody's gonna read this. Now, one thing that you should be thinking of is that if you are not tooting your own horn or you are not giving yourself the credit that you deserve, who else is going to do that? And so this is why it's really important to be putting down great details of the things, the great things that you've done in the firm to help give yourself a good rating. Now, some people are saying, okay, should I inflate my number rating? So if I thought maybe I was average on the job, should I give myself a number higher and then make them bump me down? Or should I give myself a conservative rating and then let them bump me up? So in my experience, people go both ways on this. However, I think more important than the actual number rating is what you are actually writing about and the narrative that you create. People are gonna look at the details and they're gonna read through everything that you've done and then they are going to compare that to other people. So with that, it is very crucial throughout the time in your busy season to be documenting and remembering all the great things that you've done to help remind your managers because in the end, honestly, people are so busy and they've forgotten all the good things that you've done and it's your job, okay, to do a good job promoting yourself. And that leads us into the third thing and it's how does everybody rank you? When you're done with your performance review, normally that is bubbled up to the next level, either your manager, your senior manager, your partner, and they will either confirm or readjust your rating depending on what they thought. So that goes into the number. If you're being conservative, giving yourself a three, and your manager agrees, they're gonna give you a three. Or if you gave yourself a four, you thought you did a really good job, and your manager comes in and gives you a three, then that's downgrading you. Or once all the managers go through your review, it's finalized, it's sent, and submitted, and then Everybody, meaning all the management, will get together and they will be in the same room and they'll put all the staff on one board. And normally his career counselor will talk about all the things that he did in consolidating those reviews. And then everybody will have a free-for-all to talk about what they thought about Johnny. If Johnny was a good staff, then they rank him higher. And then they move on to the next one. The next career counselor talks they uh, consolidate all the remarks and reviews, and then it's an open forum for everybody else to discuss how that person or the staff had done. 
If that staff was better than the staff they talked about before, then they bump them up higher. And so this process continues, they go through all these reviews, and at the end of the time, they wind up having the top rated staff versus the staff that really weren't doing so well. What this means to you is that if you're a higher rated staff, you're potentially gonna be making more money. I know you wanna do your best, and we are all striving to do that, but don't take it personal. It's a job. I hope this helps demystify how the performance reviews work in the big four. My name is David. This is my life on play. Glad to have you here. If you're interested in knowing more, leave me a comment and please subscribe. We'd be happy to have you.